All right, savings goals. That is a big part of investing and just life planning in general. I know when I first started out investing, I was like, I just want to become a millionaire. I want to be able to retire one day. Well, maybe you're sitting out there and saying, man, I've got you know just a little bit of money. How do I start? How much do I need to make? How long is it going to take for me to reach X goals? Whether it's 500 grand, 100 grand, whether it's a million dollars. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's very simple. But again, you got to have a game plan if you're going to reach these goals. Let's go ahead and look at it now. All right, this is such a cool website. I love it. It's investor.gov and you can go in here and you can do a savings goal calculator. So listen, if people want to see how long it'll take to save up to a million dollars, let's go ahead and go through that now. So we're going to put our savings goal here, $1 million, bam. Now, what is going to be your initial investment? Okay. So let's just say you have a thousand dollars to start with. Okay. Now the next variable is how long do you have to let it grow? Let's just say you're super young, right? Let's say you've got 40 years. We're going to do a couple of examples. This will be the first one. Let's say you're 20 years old and you're like, I'm not retiring until 60. So you got 40 years. Now let's just say you're going to put this in a regular stock market fund, S and P 500, something like that. Historically, over time, you could make 10% a year. That's what it does. Let's go ahead and calculate. Look at this. The results are in. If you contribute right around $180 every month over the next 40 years, you're going to hit your goal of a million dollars. That is pretty cool, right? Now, listen, I get it. It's 40 years, but it just goes to show you consistency can get you to your goal pretty fast. Let's say you're starting out with a thousand bucks, but don't have 40 years. I got 30 years loop. All right. Let's just assume we're going to be put it into a regular market fund, like an S and P 500. How long, what do you got to do? Wow. If you only have 30 years compared to 40 years, instead of putting in 180 bucks, you got to put in what? Almost $500. It goes to show you the power of time. Time is where the big gains come from. Literally, you cannot beat time. Let's go ahead and go through one other example. Let's say your initial investment is $2,500. Okay, you got that Christmas bonus and we're gonna say 25 years, right? You gotta be thinking long-term. We're gonna keep our estimated interest rate 10% calculated. Here you go, listen. We reduced the years again to 25 years. You will have to contribute 825 bucks every single month if you want to reach a million dollars, assuming that you can get that 10% interest rate, which is what the market does historically speaking. This is cool. Reaching our goals is possible. All you have to do is stay consistent and get a game plan no matter where you're starting out at. So listen, this video is starting to inspire me. I want to make another goal. Why don't you leave me a comment? Let me know what some of your goals are for 2022. I'll see you guys next week.